Aboard the presidential jetliner, the United States Vice President Hubert Humphrey arrives in Canberra for talks on South Vietnam. With him is the American ambassador at large, Mr. Avril Harriman, and a retinue of 13. Prime Minister Holt welcomes them, and there's a bouquet for Mrs. Humphrey from eight-year-old Catherine Martin, daughter of a U.S. Embassy Consular. At an airport press conference, Mr. Humphrey says Australia and America can be optimistic about the future. He says, I see Australia, the United States and New Zealand working together with other nations in this area to build a better society for millions of people in Asia. The United States ambassador, Mr. Ed Clark, hears Mr. Humphrey say the troops in Vietnam were in good spirits. The vice president's stay in Canberra is a short one. The following day, he goes to Parliament House for talks with Mr. Holt and other members of Australia's Defence and Foreign Affairs Committee. Important talks with Vietnam high on the agenda. Every policeman in the capital is on duty to deal with possible violence, but the demonstration, such as it is, is a very quiet affair. It's a small crowd with a variety of slogans on their placards. After talks at Parliament House, Mr Humphrey attends a state dinner at the Hotel Canberra and then holds a joint press conference with Prime Minister Holt. Mr Holt says Australia is considering sending more troops to South Vietnam. Mr Humphrey said he had not requested additional forces because the Australian government would send them if the need arose and Americans had faith and confidence in that judgment. A waiter is one of the few people to get the Vice President's autograph. The press conference over, the Vice President moves off to keep up with his busy schedule. Outside the hotel, there's another small gathering of demonstrators. At the War Memorial, Mr Humphrey will lay a wreath in memory of those who've given their lives in many wars. And those who watch must be thinking of Australian and American troops in Vietnam and of Mr Humphrey's statement that we must not only win the war, but the peace that follows too. his Canberra visit over, the Vice President of the United States takes off for New Zealand. His visit strengthens Australian-American ties.